So, and I want to go, the next one I want to talk about is the Coverdale Bible. Um, we have, I think, a sheet from a Coverdale Bible, Coverdale Bible here. And I'm including this in the early, I want to talk about Reformation and Bibles, but I want to include this, even though this is sort of occupies a strange place in Bible history. Um, the Coverdale Bible is a translate, a direct translation of the Latin Vulgate. There's no effort to re-describe, re-come to understand. It's the Latin put into English, same thing that's been done before. But it was ordered for the first time. It's a quote-unquote official Bible. Um, it was ordered by Henry VIII, and the year is rather stunning. In 15, it's 1534, Henry authorized, that is, he gave permission, he called for an English translation of the Bible. Now, that's when we start having fun, is when we get to the Reformation. Henry, how many, how many to, have you watched the Tudors on television? Can you see if they see the series of the Tudors? Not a lot. Um, Henry is the, Henry's the problem guy who's at the center of the Tudors, and he's the poor man who keeps, he keeps needing a son, and feels that he's been cursed by God by the fact that he only has daughters or that his wives don't have enough babies. He's the guy that managed, I think, six wives. Um, you know, so in the course of trying to find a, the right circumstance, his, when he divorced his first wife, who was Catholic, by the way, I love about Henry VIII, that he had been specified as a defender of the faith, and he had written a radical tract against Luther. He was absolutely so Catholic you can't believe it. I mean, he was died in the wool. But then Anne Boleyn's family were sort of working with reform, and there's some influence of reform. So Henry's concession to his new wife is that he will call for an English Bible. And later, it's kind of fun because he does call for it. Coverdale translates it in relationship to this. Um, and then about two years later, there's a proclamation that Henry forbids people reading Bibles anywhere, forbids women from reading Bibles, and forbids anybody reading Bibles in public and only allows aristocracy to read Bibles in their homes. If you get the Bible into the common people's hands, you're going to have trouble. Okay, And that was Henry's attitude. 